Happy Monday! Everyone, how are you uh, this evening? You know, I don't know where it is, how it is where you are, but where I'm at, it is pouring rain. So um, even though we had planned to be virtual um, tonight, I think even if we had had plans to meet in person at the battery we would have been rained out and so i'm not sure what's happening uh, with the baseball either but uh yeah it is a rainy day uh here in georgia but luckily we can still do yoga anyway in the comfort of our own home so uh, my name is renee and i'm so happy to be with you this evening and uh, lead you through a little yoga practice and we'll practice for about an hour or so so uh, take a moment you know Roll out your mat, or if you're not using your mat, that's okay too. Yeah, just find a, a space where, um, you know, you've got a little bit of space to open up your arms and do a few things and you won't knock over anything or anyone. And, um, and we'll practice together, all right? All right, so let's get, let's get started. So uh, tonight we're gonna start a little bit differently. Why? Because we can. <laughs> so many options. So many options, how do you decide? So uh, this evening, we're gonna start lying down on our bellies. So make your way back to your space, or in my case, back to my space. It might not be the case for you. We're gonna lie down on your belly. And create a pillow with your hands. And, and that means you're gonna stack your hands one on top of the other, and drop your forehead down onto your hands so that you can breathe. Yeah, so make that pillow, drop your head down. So close your eyes, make sure you can breathe uh, while you're here. And take a few breaths and, and bring your attention to your feet for a moment. You may want to bring your big toes close to one another so that they touch. You may prefer to have your feet more straight back towards the back of your space. Or you may even want to turn your toes like flippers outwards away from one another. So your toes are facing the sides of your mat or the sides of your space. Once you have your feet figured out, start to notice the natural rhythm of your breath coming in and out of your nostrils. When you breathe lying on your belly like this, it might feel a little different. It's a great opportunity to practice breathing to your belly. Let your belly press against the floor when you inhale, inflating your belly. And that'll start to move the breath. You might feel more sensations and movement associated with the breath along the back side of your body, which you may not normally experience when you're seated upright or lying down on your back. So let the energy of your breath move to the back side of your body, into the low back, hip area. It's wonderful for bringing energy and healing you know, to your kidneys and the back side of your liver. And freeing up energy and space along the back side of our body can help us more fully enjoy our relationships outside of ourselves releasing any tension 
the back side of the body helps to release tension that might be surfacing in relationships uh, with others. Three more deep breaths here in the Makrasana or the pose of the crocodile. Crocodile. And we'll stay on our belly, just changing our position slightly. Inhale, lift your head up. Unstack your hands, place them in front of you. I want your forearms to be parallel to one another, like the number 11, and palms facing down to the floor or to the mat. Take your hands slightly forward so that your elbows are in front of your, of your shoulders. Just a little pressure there in your elbows. And then look no higher than your thumbnails. You don't want to be looking up towards the ceiling. Instead, keep your gaze more neutral. Allow your shoulders to drop down. And if you need to, change your foot position. If this, the foot position that you chose before is no longer serving you, as we move from the pose of the crocodile, lifting up into the pose of the sphinx. Now imagine, right, that great sphinx in Egypt, that regal stance, arms out in front, gaze soft, lying on its, on its belly. Still allow the breath to move to and from the belly, but you might feel more sensation now in the chest and in the shoulders. As we've lifted into a gentle back bend. And as we've had a pretty gray day here and some more cloudy weather, I think, headed our way. It's a good time to do a few more back bends. It's a good time to do a bit more twisting and abdominal work to connect with the energy of, of the sun that we have inside. If we aren't able to enjoy the sun's rays when we're outside. Couple of breaths here, heart and chest, nice and open. Belly inflates, shoulders and gaze, relax. And slide your hands towards you. So get the palms of your hands underneath your shoulders. Maybe just scoot up a little bit. Press with your hands. Inhale, lift yourself up to all fours hands and knees, and we're going to release the back bend. So exhale, drop your hips back, back towards your heels, forehead comes down. Child's pose, pose of the child. Time you breathe in, come on up to all fours again. Exhale once you get there. We'll continue our warm up. Inhale, stretch your right leg back behind you. Now you can keep your toes down on the ground. It's hard for you to balance. You can lift uh, your right leg away from the ground. Exhale, bring your right knee, touch your right elbow. Squeeze and hug it in on this side. Now inhale, extend your right leg back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. So round in nose to your knee. And then bring your foot forward so you can place it in between your hands. Walk your foot forward so you're kneeling. With an inhale, raise your arms up. Move into a kneeling back bend now. First, we were lying down our bellies. And look, now we're kneeling back then. Keep your gaze straight in front of you. Or if you can, drop your head back. Stretch up. Exhale, lower your hands down. And take your right knee back to meet the left. So we're in all fours. Let's do it on the other side. Inhale, left leg. 
goes back. Again, keep your toes down if balance is a challenge. You lift, lift your leg up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Squeeze your abdominals in. A little bit of that core work. Yeah, getting the things heated up. Inhale, left leg back. Behind you, exhale, bring your knee underneath your body, round in, knee toward your nose, bring your left foot forward to your hands. And inhale, sweep your arms up and find that back bend. Relax your shoulders down, chest and heart open, and stretch up. Exhale, hands down, we'll go back to the right side again. All fours, inhale, right leg back, knee to your elbow on the right side. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right foot forward to your hands. Inhale, sweep your arms up and back. Maybe your head goes back. Lengthen the front of your body. Exhale, hands down. Go back to all fours. To the left side we go. Inhale, stretch your left leg back. Exhale, knee to your elbow. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, left foot. Bring it forward. Place it in between your hands. Inhale, stretch up and stretch back. Exhale, lower your hands down one more time on each side. So come to all fours, start with the right. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, knee to your elbow. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right foot forward to your hands. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower your hands. Step back last time on the left. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, knee to your elbow. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, foot forward. Kneel and inhale, rise. Float up. Exhale, hands down. Knees together. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips up into the air, downward facing dog. Knees towards your navel, pedal out your feet if you'd like to. And many postures have not only physical qualities to them, but energetic qualities as well. So today, you know, based on just uh, the weather and things that have been uh, going on, you know, working on opening our, our hearts, you know, reaching out to others and connecting with the energy that is the sun. That's mostly done through back bending um, as well as twisting. Whereas the opposite uh, happens in forward folding. So now we're facing dog. The position that we're in right now is actually a version of a forward fold as there's forward flexion at your hips. They're a little bit more relaxing and cooling. Correspond more with the energy of the moon and with developing a stronger relationship of the self to the self uh, when we fold forward. So both are good. Yeah, we need to do both for lots of different uh, reasons. Alright, pausing in the center, lift your heels up, start to tiptoe your feet forward towards your hands. Look at your thumbs as you do that. Once you get your feet underneath you, inhale, lift up halfway. Support yourself if you need to. We come to a flat back. And exhale, fold in and look at your knees. Inhale, we'll come all the way up to stand. Use your legs and your belly to stretch all the way up. And then we'll take a side bend. So lean to one side. Now you can grab your wrist. Or if you'd like, you could extend one arm down as you lean over. Making your body in the shape of the crescent moon. Inhale to the center. And exhale, you can grab your wrist or allow your hand to drop and lean in the other direction. Inhale, come to the center, arms up. Exhale, bring your hands behind you. Support your low back with your hands. Soften your knees and look up towards the ceiling. Now it's a standing, standing back bend. Shift your hips forward. You can allow your hands to drop down the backs of your legs if you want to, but keep your knees soft as you lean back. Inhale to the center, transfer your hands to the front of your body, and exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Look forward. Exhale, fold in, look at your knees. Inhale, rise up, come all the way up, and we'll do it again. 
Exhale, lean to one side. Come to the center. Exhale, lean to the other side. And here comes that back bend. Inhale to the center. Exhale, support your back as much as you need to so that you can breathe. Yeah. Look up, press your hips forward, allow your hands to travel down. Inhale, come to the center, exhale, bow forward, hands in front of you. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, roll in. Inhale, rise up. One more time. Exhale, lean to one side. Come to the center, exhale, lean to the other side. Inhale to the center, exhale, find your expression of your back bend. Support yourself a little, support yourself a lot. Inhale to the center, exhale, fold forward. Fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, rise up. We're going to change this a little bit. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Look at the top of your mat. Exhale, put your hands on your mat. So plant your hands. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get your hands down. Step your feet to the back of your mat. Top of a push-up. You can always drop your knees if you need to. Then bend your elbows lower to a low push-up or go all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift your chest up. Again, you can choose to not use your arms like we were doing earlier, or sphinx. Or you can use your arms and lift up. Exhale, tuck your toes and press your hips up into the air. Look at your belly button. Take a few breaths here in Downward Facing Dog. Bottom of your exhale, look up at your thumbs, walk your feet up to your hands, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, inhale, come all the way up. Changing it just a little bit again here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Look forward. Exhale, palms down, step back. Top of push-up. Now hold here. Roll your weight into your right hand. Roll your feet to the right. Inhale and lift your left arm up. Side plank. Now you can always have a knee down if you need to here. You're going to do three side planks. So one on the right. Exhale, lower your left hand. Inhale, lift your right arm up. That's on the left. One more time. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, roll, open. Now exhale, drop your hands. Drop yourself down towards the ground. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, toes to your mat. Lift your hips up. Take a few more, a few more breaths. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up. To your hands, inhale, lift up halfway, look forward. Exhale, fold in and look at your knees, inhale, come all the way up. Stand up nice and tall, stretch your arms up. One more time, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, palms down, step back, pause on the top of push-up. This time we'll start with the left, so keep your left hand down. Roll your feet to the left. Inhale, right arm goes up, side plank on the left. Exhale, right hand down, roll to the right. Inhale, left arm. Going to come up, side plank on the other side. Exhale, left hand down, inhale, right arm up. Last one. Exhale, hands down, high to low push, or bend your elbows. Inhale, into your back bend, lift your heart up. Exhale, toes to your mat, lift your hips up, and take a few breaths. You're going to do that one more time. Look to your hands, walk your feet. Up to your hands, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold, inhale, come up. Stretch up long, exhale, let it go. Bow forward. Back bend and a forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, palms down, step back. Three side planks. Right hand for me is going to stay down, you decide. Now inhale, left arm up, or at least one of your arms up. 
Exhale, left hand down, inhale, right arm is going to go up. Exhale, right arm down, inhale, one more time, lift up, side plank. Exhale, lower yourself down. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, toes to your mat and lift your hips up. Well, Orange, I was wondering when you were going to make an appearance. I was wondering. <laughs> Never takes her too long when I'm here practicing on Monday nights to make her way to my mat, right? It's my cat, Orange. Orange, say hi to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Look forward to your hands. Step your feet up to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold in. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale and lower your arms. Good. So another way we can connect with sun energy with different variations of plank. We just explored some side plank. And now we're gonna explore another a variation of a plank. We're gonna start standing. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this. So please be mindful of any knee issues or ankle issues as you kind of make your way through this uh, next uh, little sequence that we're gonna do. So we're gonna start uh, with our, our left foot down. And you're gonna bring your right leg up. Right leg up. So this is kind of like tree pose. You know, you balance on one foot, outwardly rotate uh, your right knee. This is the most knee friendly version of this is to do tree pose. If you're able to bind your legs, yeah, coming into like a half lotus position, and what that means is that you're going to take your right foot and bring it on top of your left thigh. Now again, not always super knee friendly or ankle friendly but really cat friendly, <laughs> she's rubbing all over me. You have to hold, hold uh, your foot up um, if, if, you, if you need to. So this is the bound position. But again, you can do this with your foot to the inside of your leg as well, a little bit more, more knee friendly. So uh, you choose uh, the one that works best for you. Now you can just take your other hand, that'd be your right hand, and place it in front of you here and just uh, breathe a little bit, outwardly rotate, your hip, keep your core and belly drawn in as you stabilize and you balance. But we're going to make this into something a little bit more interesting if you care uh, to go, go with me. Yeah. So keeping your right leg up, again, in the tree or the half lotus position, take a deep breath in, then exhale, bow forward. So leaning forward. And please be mindful of your knees um, as you do this and put uh, your hands, or at least your fingertips, down onto your mat. Big hip stretch um, in your hip uh, here. Now again, to make this more interesting and to work towards a variation of play, how can we do that? <laughs> we do that by walking our hands forward, lower down into the top of a push-up, keeping your leg bound as best you can. Good. Hold here, draw your belly in, <laughs> allow your cat to attack you. <laughs> Good, and then walk your hands in. Coming out the same way that we went in. So walk your hands in. Pause for a moment once you have uh, your hands underneath you. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale there, then inhale slowly, 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 come on up. And then put your foot down. I hope that went well, because <laughs> yeah. we're going to do it all um, on the other side. And if you have to change it one side to the other, uh, based on what's happening in your knees or in your ankles, it's totally fine. Totally fine. But the setup is the same. So you're going to stand on both feet first, and then uh, lift up lift up your left foot this time. In tree pose, you know, foot to the inside of your leg. Most knee friendly. Most knee friendly. Otherwise, binding it up, uh, pick up your left foot. Bring it on top of your right thigh. Stay here, left hand to your heart. Stay here and breathe. If you're like, I don't want to do all that other stuff, it's okay. Yeah, you just hang, hang here and breathe for a little while. Time spent in a balancing posture. Always time uh, well spent. Always time well spent. Otherwise, take a deep breath in if you want to go farther. Exhale, start to fold forward. Get at least your fingertips down to the ground in front of you. Enjoy that little hip stretch that you get uh, along the way. And then if you're ready to take the journey into that plank 
place, uh, let's do it. Walk your hands forward. Drop your hips down. Come into the top of a push-up as best you can. It's pretty awkward. Yeah, it's pretty awkward with your feet in this position, but at least you try. Yeah, at least you try. Where are you going to these people? One more breath. And then we'll come out the way we went in. So start to walk your hands in. Pipe your hips up. Walk your hands in. Walk your hands in. Again, pause for a moment. Once you have your hips over your foot here. And inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale there. Then inhale. Come on up. And put your feet down. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. So continuing our, our warm up with a little uh, another another sun salutation uh, variation here. Again, continuing to honor the energy of the sun, even though it's not out there in the sky, we can still, you know, we can still honor it anyway. So bend your knees. Inhale, and you can raise your arms up over your head. You can bring your hands to your heart, but put your hands on your hips uh, for chair. Chair pose, using the sun salutation, a variation B. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold forward. Look down at your toes. Inhale, lift up halfway, look forward. Exhale, vinyasa, palms down, step back. Move from a high to a low push-up. Inhale, lift your chest up, gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, toes to your mat. Lift your hips up, turn your left foot out to the left. Take a giant step forward with your right foot. Bend your right knee. Inhale, raise your arms up. Look up at your hands if you can to accentuate the back bend. Otherwise, keep, keep your gaze forward. Exhale, lower your hands down. Step your right foot back. High to low push-up. Inhale, lift your chest up. Up dog. Exhale, chest goes down. Down dog. Other side. Right foot out to the right. Step your left foot forward. Bend your left knee. Inhale, raise your arms up. And maybe look up. Exhale, vinyasa, hands down, step back. Lower yourself down, inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, toes to your mat. Lift your hips up, take a couple of breaths. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold and bend your knees. Inhale, lift your chest up. And you decide how high up you want your arms to go. And we're going to do that again. Exhale, fold forward. Straighten your legs and bow. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step back and lower. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, toes to your mat. Hips up. Turn your left toes immediately to the left. Step your right foot forward to your hands. Inhale and raise your arms up. Gaze up. Exhale, vinyasa. Other side. Turn your right toes out to the right. Left foot comes forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up again. Exhale, vinyasa. Hold your downward facing dog. Take a couple deep breaths. Notice how the body's getting warmer as we keep honoring that energy of the sun. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands. Walk your feet up, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Inhale, lift your chest up, maybe your arms go up too. We'll do that one more time. Exhale, straighten and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, vinyasa. From your inverted V, turn your left foot out to the left. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, vinyasa. Other side, right foot out to the right. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, rise up again. Exhale, vinyasa. Two breaths and down dog. Bottom of your exhale, look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands, inhale, lift up halfway. 
Exhale, fold in, bend your knees. Inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, stand, mountain pose. Great job, we're gonna keep moving, utilizing the heat uh, that we have so far. And we'll keep honoring, honoring the sun. So inhale, stretch your arms up nice and tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, put your hands on your mat. And step your feet back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Right leg goes up into the air. Exhale, bring your knee towards your nose. Inhale, extend your right leg back. Exhale, bring your right foot forward to your hands. All 10 toes pointing forward. Let your back heel lift up. Inhale and raise your arms up. This is very similar to what we were doing earlier while we were kneeling. But now that we're a bit more warmed up, we're standing. We're standing. Okay. Then from here, this is a little a new movement. I shouldn't say new. It's just a little bit uncommon. Yeah, so you have your right leg in front of you that's bent. Left leg is behind you. When you exhale, bring your back leg or your left foot in front of you, balancing on one foot. Take your left hand and grab your heel. Hand to your heel. It's a little bit of a strange move, moving towards what's called ballet pose, natyasana. So grab your heel. And if that isn't working, you grab the front of your knee. And even if you need to keep your toes down on the ground, that's fine too, but balance on one foot. Full expression is grabbing your heel. You can stay here grabbing your heel, or if you want, ooh, you can gently start to extend your leg up. Ballet pose, right? It's kind of like a ballerina in this moment, I guess, if you want to be. Yeah, you decide how much of a ballerina you want to be, okay? Take a deep breath in. Then exhale, lower everything down, and come back to downward facing dog. Now we're gonna do that same thing, but on the left, left side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose, round and curl it in. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward to your hands. All 10 toes forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. High lunge or high crescent uh, lunge is sometimes called. And once again, we're in this lunging position. Exhale, bring your back leg, which is your right leg this time. Right hand to your right heel, or it can be your right knee. So you decide, heel or knee, entirely up to you. Hold on here, stay here, or if you want, channel your inner ballerina, yeah, and stand all the way up and start to extend, extend your leg. Okay, take a deep breath in, and exhale, lower it all down, step back, to downward facing dog. Now that was the first part. We're going to add a little bit more onto that. So let's start again with the right side. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot to your hands. Back heel lifted. Use your legs. Inhale, raise your arms up. Guess what? High lunge is a back bend. Now you're honoring the sun as you do this. Exhale, left hand. It's going to go to your left heel. Bring your back foot forward. Touch your knee or grab your heel. And then maybe, maybe, yeah, start to extend your leg up. Again, that part's um, optional. You don't have to do that. Now, adding on, exhale, take your left heel and put it on top of your right thigh, kind of like we did before. Yeah, exhale and bring your hands to your heart and sit down a little bit. Temple squat, you know, so legs are in a figure four, and squat down just a little bit. Now then inhale, and take that left leg, open up to the side of your mat. Take your feet wide, your arms wide. Sometimes call this five-pointed star. And now turning towards the back of your space, turn your right toes in, your left toes out. So everything's facing the back of the mat, toes to the back of your mat. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bend your left knee and wrap around, yeah? Elbow, right elbow, uh, to your left knee. Prayer twist, prayer twist. Look over your left shoulder. And from here, left hand, look down at your left big toe, put your left fingertips in front of your left foot. So 
left hand in front of your left foot. Balance on your left foot and your left hand, and then raise the right side of your body up into the air. Half moon balance. Stretch up. Hand can come to your hip. Toes can be down if you need to, and you can look down. Lots of different options here. Um, you decide what works best for you. And exhale, lower your hands down. Lower your right toes down towards the back of your space. And we're going to change sides immediately. So inhale, lift your left leg up. It's that three-legged dog. And exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, left foot forward to your hands. Inhale, raise your arms up. Stretch up into that back bend, high lunge. Exhale, bring your right leg forward, right hand and right heel come together. And you decide how much of a ballerina uh, you would like, like to be today. Stretch up as high as you want to. Exhale, bring your right heel on top of your left thigh, hands to your heart, and come down a little bit. Use those legs. Inhale, open to the side of your mat. Big step. Open up nice and wide. And exhale, turn to the back of your mat. All ten toes to the back. Hands to your heart and hook and twist. And look over your shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Now look down. Your right foot's the one that's in front of you. Put your right fingertips down in front of you. Lift the left side of your body up. Into the air. Half moon balance. Good. Exhale, hands down. Left toes down towards the back of your space. Changing sides again, adding a little bit more on here at the end. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot to your hands. Inhale, raise your arms up. Finding that back bend. Exhale, bring your left hand and your left heel or your left knee together. Inhale, stretch up with that ballet pose. Ooh. Exhale, left heel on top of your right thigh and sink down, sink down. Temple squat, then inhale, open up, side of your mat. And exhale, turn to the back of your mat, hands to your heart and twist. Right elbow to your left knee and look over your left shoulder. Inhale, take your left fingertips, place them in front of your left toes, and raise the right side of your body up into the air. It's that half moon, half moon balance. Now we're gonna add on a little bit more. Exhale, bring your right leg behind your left. So your legs are crossed. Right leg is behind you, left leg is in front of you. And then bend both of your knees and sit down. Sit down all the way. Now your left knee is the one that's gonna be in front of you. Hands to your heart and hook your right elbow to your left knee. And look over your left shoulder, half lord of the fishes. Now your left foot is the one that's in front of you. We're gonna balance on our left foot again, coming forward into another balancing posture. It takes a little bit of balance and coordination and concentration uh, to make this to make this work yeah so left foot's the one that you're going to balance on you're twisting so look down at your left big toe come forward stand up on your left foot hands to your heart make your body into the capital letter t this is warrior three left leg down right leg stretches back behind you take a breath in exhale lower your fingertips down all ten fingers down Curl your nose in towards your knee. Lift your right leg up a little bit higher. It's standing splits. Standing splits. Exhale, lower your right toes to the back of your mat. Plant your hands more firmly against the mat and switch sides. Inhale, left leg up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot to your hands. Inhale and raise your arms up. Find that back bend. Exhale, right hand to your right heel or your right knee. Inhale and stretch up. Ballet pose. Then exhale, right heel on top of your left thigh. Hands to your heart and drop down. 
Inhale, open to the side of your mat. Five pointed star. And exhale, turn the other direction. Let your back heel come up. Wrap all the way around, left elbow to your right knee. Prayer twist. Inhale, right fingertips to the ground. Lift the left side of your body up. Half moon balance. And here's where we add it on. Exhale, left leg behind the right. Hands down, drop down, sit down, bend your knees, sit down. Right knee should be the one on top. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Look over your shoulder. Half Lord of the Fishes. Now the right foot is the one that's in front of you. It's the one you're going to balance on again. So untwist a little bit. Put some weight into your right foot. Stand up on your right leg. Make your body into the capital letter T. Chest down. Left leg up. Warrior three. Exhale, fingertips down. Curl your nose in towards your knee. Lift your left leg up a little higher. Standing split. Exhale, lower your left toes down. Plant your hands. One more time on each side. Inhale, right leg back. Swing it up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward to your hands. Inhale, sweep up into that back bend. Yeah, press it one. Exhale, left hand to your left heel. Grab it or grab your knee. Inhale, extend your leg up or jump. Exhale, left ankle to your right thigh. Switch your hands to your heart and drop down, temple squat. Inhale, open everything up to the side of your mat. Exhale, turn to the back of your mat and twist all the way around, right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, left fingertips, stretch them in front of you. Raise your right arm and your right leg up nice and high, half moon. Exhale, drop your right foot behind your left. Bend your knees and sink down. Hook your right elbow to your left knee. Half Lord of the Fishes. Left foot's the one that should be in front of you. You're going to rock forward, stand up, make your body into the capital letter T. Warrior three. Exhale, fingertips down, nose to your knee. Lift your right leg up, standing splits. Great job. One more time. Here we go. Lower your right toes, plant your hands. Inhale, left leg goes up and back. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, left foot forward to your hands. Inhale, raise your arms up. Look up. Exhale, right hand. Connect it with your right heel. Inhale and stretch. Stretch up. Exhale, right heel on top of your left thigh. Hands to your heart. Sink down. Inhale, open to the side of your mat. Exhale, change directions. Wrap all the way around and twist. Left elbow to your right knee. Inhale, right fingertips in front of you. Lift the left side of your body up. Exhale, left leg behind the right. Sink down, drop down, drop down. Sit all the way down, left elbow to your right knee. Look over your shoulder. You're gonna balance on your right foot, so rock forward. Lift up, body in the shape of a letter T, chest down, leg up, warrior three. And exhale, fingertips down. Lift your right leg up as high, or left leg up as high as you can. Standing splits. All right, lower your left toes down. Plant your hands, step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, drop your knees down. Relax into a child's pose. Relax down, let your head drop. Connect with the energy of the earth. Uh, beneath you. There's a lot of twisting and balancing, a lot of backbending uh, brought in there to uh, honor Surya energy, the energy of, of the sun. Because even in its absence, 
we can still create the same energy through some of our movements uh, with breath. So far we have done lying on our belly back bends. So far we have done some kneeling back bends. So far we have done some standing and balancing back bends. There's really only one other way to do back bends that we haven't explored yet, which is what we're going to do next, which is a lying down um, on our backs. Yeah, so slowly. Come on up from your child's pose and make your way onto your back. If you've got, you know, ankles that are okay, you can cross your ankles and roll over your ankles. And bring your legs out in front of you and then roll down onto, onto your back. Hug your knees in if you'd like. And keep your low back uh, down to the mat or down to the floor. You're working a little uh, bridge pose here. You go back bend from lying uh, down. So put your feet down on the ground, about hip width distance apart. Okay. Keep your feet parallel, parallel to one another. And use your, your legs here, press with your heels. Relax your arms wherever it's comfortable. Then inhale, press your hips up towards the sky. Press your hips up. And really squeeze your glutes, engage your thighs. Press your hips up. Another back bend to explore and enjoy. And connect us with sunshine, even though it might be a cloudy day. So take one more breath and lower yourself down. And we'll do one more with a little variation with the arms if, if you would like to. Um, but again, you don't have to. You can just uh, use, use your legs, the legs here. So inhale, uh, press down with, with your legs. Lift your hips up and then bring your hands underneath your back. Interlace your fingers and roll onto the tops of your shoulders. So you want to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you. Uh, getting up on the tops of your shoulders. And then really press your hips up. One more breath. And then release your hands. Drop your hips down. And gently move your knees from side to side. A little twist to release. Release the back bends. And then kick your legs up into the air. So both legs up. Body's like a, a letter L. Make sure you're pressing your low back down um, into, into your mat. Then from here, bend your knees. Let your knees move away from one another. Soles of the feet come together. And you can touch, uh, grab your knees, your shins, your ankles. Or if you can, reach all the way around and grab the pinky toe sides of your feet. And draw your heels in. Imagine that you're going to take your heels and press them into your belly button. Heels towards your belly button. So really compressing uh, the hips. It's a great a stretch for the inner thigh area, really hug it in. Keep your chest, your shoulders, and your head, and your low back relaxed on the mat. Just draw in, draw in. Start to 
cool down, the energy of the sun remains with us anyway, right? We're more open, probably a bit warmer um, than when, when we started class. always taking a moment as we get towards the end of our practice to uh, cool things down, let's balance things out so we leave in a nice balanced place. Even though it's a sun-centered practice, we still have to honor both energies, the sun and the moon, the masculine and the feminine, uh, the yin and the yang. On your next inhale, release your hands from your feet or your legs and extend your legs up nice and long again, returning to that L position. And then point your toes up towards the ceiling or towards the sky. And then slowly, to a count of 10, we're going to lower our legs down uh, towards the ground. So point your toes, relax your upper body, and just use your abdominals here. Slowly lower, 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, halfway there, four, three, two, and one. Good, inhale, stretch up nice and long, arms over your head, point or flex, flex your feet. And with a breath out, hug your knees in, to your chest. And as in tonight's practice, we did a lot of back bending. Always a good idea to uh, twist after back bending to help realign, realign the spine. So we'll take a final twist together. Put your feet down on the ground. Arms can go wherever it's comfortable. Take a breath in. Exhale, drop your knees to the right and look over your left shoulder. Change sides, come to the center, knees to the left, head to the right. With the breath in, bring everything back to the center. And now it's time to take a bit of rest. So if it feels best to you to keep your knees bent, um, then keep, to keep your knees bent. Otherwise, you want to extend your legs out long if that feels more comfortable uh, for you. Extend your legs out. And again, arms can relax naturally wherever they want to relax. Starting to lower your gaze or, or close your eyes. And this time and final relaxation is really important because it allows all of our energies to balance out. Instead of taking from the practice uh, what our energetic body needs and releasing that which is excessive or that we don't uh, need. 
Making your body as still as you can. Noticing your breath if your mind tends to wander. Release, fold. Maybe take some longer breaths in and out. Reconnecting with your breath and making some movements or stretching just to come back into a sense, into a sense of your body. And we'll roll. Roll to one side or bend your knees and rock up. Just slowly making your way up to up to seated. And we'll draw our hands uh, to our hearts to seal the practice with unconditional love and gratitude. As always, and maybe tonight, yeah, being grateful for the cloudy weather for the rain. <laughs> well, thanks so much for practicing uh, with me tonight. I hope to see you again very soon. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Hope to see you soon.